in the air. Left center, this is Will Taylor. Nope, it's Canarella. Canarella makes the catch. Looked like Taylor was coming around it. Taylor actually faked it. He had caught it. So I love looking at interesting plays, and this is a play that I personally have not seen before. Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen it. And if you're watching any games, any college games, any MLB games, and you see an interesting play, send it over to me. Email it to me, Matt at AntonelliBaseball.com, and I'll break it down and throw it on YouTube. So here's the situation. Again, I've not seen this done before. Very creative. Let's talk about it. We have the bases loaded. It's Xavier versus Clemson. We have one out, top of the first. We have a fly ball hit to left center field. Center fielder is going to make his way over here for the catch. Left fielder is going to start to move this way for a potential catch or a fake catch, which you're going to see in a second. If you're the offense, we have less than two outs, so the runner at third is going to tag. The runner at second base is typically going to get off the bag and read it. If he thinks there's going to be a catch in a potential play at the plate, he can move back here to tag up. If he doesn't think it's going to be caught, he's going to continue to work off the bag so that if it falls in, he's able to score. The runner at first is going to mirror the runner at second. So if the runner at second goes back to tag, the runner at first is going to go back to tag. So you can see we've got the runner at third tagging. We've got the runner at second tagging because he believes that this is going to be caught. We can't see the runner at first, but he is tagging as well. Now, here's the interesting part. Watch the left fielder. He is going to make his way over here, and he is going to fake a catch. So he's faking a catch and then fakes a throw. And then right after the fake throw, we see the center fielder catch the ball, and he's going to throw the ball to third base to the cutoff man to make sure that the runner at second doesn't advance because he feels he can't throw the runner out at home so we have the catch and now we turn the runner scores the runner from second just stays at second the runner from first stays at first so have you ever seen an outfielder fake a catch like this i personally i can't remember this happening now why would we do this so let's back it up here so the reason that you would run this is to see if you can get one of the base runners all you need to get is one of the base runners here to leave early. So let's say as the base runners are working their way back to the base. So let's say as he works his way back here, or maybe as he works his way back here, or the runner in first makes his way back to first, let's say they take their eyes off the ball for a second, and they look down at the base to just find it to tag up. When they look back up, maybe they don't pick the ball up. Because as a base runner, I'm typically not following the ball all the way from the bat to the outfielder. If I'm this runner here or this runner here, I'm zoning in on who I think is going to catch the ball, and I'm going to find the ball as it starts to work its way down to the outfielder. But let's say one of these guys, when they put their head back up, if this guy does a good enough job of faking the catch, maybe your eyes do go to the wrong outfielder. And if you happen to go to this outfielder, well then right here you're getting ready to go and maybe just maybe you do a good enough job of faking this catch where a base runner starts to break so he would start to break right here let's say he thinks he caught it let's say one of them you only need again one of them to do this whether it's the runner on third or second or first they start to break now here comes the fake throw this guy right here after he catches it Right, so he catches the ball and now he takes his eyes towards the field. If he sees, say, the runner from second breaking to third early, because by this point, if he had broken on this fake catch, by the time he catches the ball and takes his eyes down, that runner is probably a good amount off of the bag. He can then just turn and throw to second base and we can double off the runner so we can get an out there and the run won't score or again maybe the runner from third leaves early or the runner from first it doesn't matter as long as we get one of the runners to leave early we get a free out and the run won't score so i thought this was really interesting i would love to know if they tell their outfielders to do this in certain situations whether it's you know if we have bases loaded because now we have three shots we can just fool one of them or if this is something they incorporate on most fly balls i'm not sure i don't watch enough clemson baseball 
If anyone knows, let me know. Now, I was thinking about the downside risk of this. And the only things I can really think of are if this guy gets too close to the center fielder. So you have to be careful here because they need to obviously communicate and you don't want the center fielder to feel this guy getting too close and now we have a miscommunication and the ball drops in. So some people might watch this and say, oh man, like this isn't gonna fool him, he's not close enough. Well, if you get too close, do we risk the possibility again of a miscommunication and the ball drops in? That's a risk that we have. So you do have to practice it, which again takes some time. You don't have unlimited time to practice in college. But I do think if the outfielder works on this and makes sure to stay far enough away where we don't get in the center fielder's way, well then he really doesn't have any other responsibility. The only responsibility he really has on a fly ball where the center fielders basically can't is if the center fielder can't see the ball well, then I'm going to have to run over and make the catch. But once we know that the center fielder is camped and he has it, well, then we can go through a little fake catch here. Is it going to get a lot of guys? Probably not. But that one time that you get someone and you save a run, it could change a ball game. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've seen this play done before. Again, I'm trying to think of it and I can't. I don't believe I've ever seen an outfielder fake a catch like this. And I would love to know if they have a signal that they give from the bench when they want them to try this, or if they just tell their outfielders, hey, anytime there's a taggable situation, if you're that off outfielder and you're not responsible for backing up a base, then let's fake a catch and see if we can get a potential double play. So that's all I have. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.